G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. The Pittsburgh Steelers guys should go and target Samaj P. Ryan in this free agent off season. What do you guys think about that? Now, I was watching the game the other day. I was watching the, the Chiefs versus uh, the old Bengals. Now, I know we are talking about a Bengals player here, but I see some value. I see some value with uh, Samaj P. Ryan. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing his name correctly. We're going to go through his stats. We're going to go through his uh, rushing, his uh, uh, catching ability, and also his uh, presence on kickoff returns and, and punt returns as a defender. This to me, guys, if we don't bring back Benny Snell, say if Benny Snell does not sign back with the Steelers, you have Najee, you have Jalen Warren, you need that veteran running back in that position. I could see the Steelers going doing this. Last year, they went and got Ogunjobi, who was a former Brown, uh, former Cincinnati Bengal. And now it doesn't even feel like that he's a Cincinnati Bengal or was a former Brown. He's Ogunjobi. And if they go and sign Larry Ogunjobi to a deal, that would be fantastic. And he'll be a Steeler. I could see number 34, Samaji P. Ryan, uh, dawning the black and gold. Imagine seeing this fellow. If you guys know who he is, he's a, he's the, the running back behind Joe Mixon, the backup or a third guy, right? He's not the, the super um, popular running back in the league, but he's a good backup and he's a good physical runner. I could see him dawning the black and gold, right? And here's why I could see that. They're going to go with Najee Harris. They're going to go with Jalen Warren at number two. You need, in my opinion, you, you still need a third a third back. Do they go to the draft? Do they go and get someone else? But they haven't got that on the roster. Is it going to be Master Teague from the, from the practice squad? Will it be Jeremy Nichols getting a chance uh, when he gets healthy and he's if he does sign a, a one-year deal? But I would say go out there, get a veteran guy like P. Ryan, bring him into the roster, and you know that he's going to get yards for you. You just, you just know it. Like he's, he's a big physical guy. Uh, and when I say big, I mean like stocky. Like he's, he's shorter. He's kind of like a, like a bigger version of, of Jalen, Jalen Warren, in my opinion. He's a, he's, a, he's a big runner. He's a goal line specialist. Now, I'm going to go through some of his stats for, for the rushing and receiving. And then lastly, uh, his defense. So in his defense. No, I'm joking. Uh, that's his receiving first. Sorry, I stuffed up. Let's go with his rushing. So over his career, he's been playing since 2017. Started with Washington uh, in 2017. That's where, that's where his career started. No idea. I'll be honest. I have no idea what happened between 2018 and 2019. And look, I didn't play. Maybe he was injured. But for the last three years, he's, he's, he's been on the roster for Cincinnati. Now, he's a seven-year vet, so he's been in the, in the league quite a long time. But if you were to offer him a deal, you could give him a year or two deal uh, to, to sort that out for the next two or three years. So in his career, he's had 400 attempts, 1,500 yards, 4.0 average, which is pretty good for a backup running back, seven TDs, and his longest was 46, and first downs, 71. So out of the times he does get the football, he's getting a lot of first downs. Now, going back to the receiving, right? He's still a bit of a receiving threat too. He's played in, of course, 70 games uh, last three years with Cincinnati. So he's played his role there. Uh, 101 receptions. So they'll feed the ball to him uh, in 2022. They're feeding the ball quite a lot. 38 receptions, uh, 51 targets, 287 yards, 7.6 yards average, four TDs, right? So those four TDs, Plus, the other one is 11 TDs total in his career. So he can get to the end zone. The fellow can get to the end zone. Now, here's here's why another reason why I think the Steelers, they should go out again. I don't, I don't know if they will. This could be all rumor. or you know, Basically, guys, most of this stuff is rumor until we see it happen. A lot of this stuff's rumor. But I did see this when I was scrolling down on ESPN, right? His defensive stats uh, since joining Cincinnati, the last three to four years, He's been a tackler, so he's been used in special teams. Now, the only way that an offensive player can get tackles is, is, is if that Joe Burrows is, is throwing interceptions. And I don't think – I know I hate Joe Burrow, but I don't think him throwing 20 interceptions, that, that means that P. Ryan got 20 tackles. No, that to me shows me that he's been on, on special teams. So he's playing on the punt return. He's playing on kick return. And out of those, uh, uh, out of the 70 games, he's got 20 tackles, 15 solo, five assists, and one forced fumble. So that shows me that he's a special teams guy. Now, who is another special teams guy? Benny Snell Jr. So the Steelers have pretty much a decision to make. Who are they going to bring back? Are they going to bring back a guy like Derek Watt to fill in and, and be fullback and be special teams captain and play that role? Do they bring a guy back like 
Bernie Snell, who can run the football. We saw it last year when, when Najee went down, Joe and Warren was resting or, or injured himself. Then they started to play Snell and he was getting some yard. We saw some Bernie Snell football for once in 2022. And that was pretty exciting to watch. But if they don't go and sign Benny Snell, I could see them actually bringing in a guy like uh, Samaji Piran, a former, former Bengal for the last three years, and turn him into a black and gold. Now, in my Madden brain, when I'm thinking about it, right, in my Madden brain, I'm like Kenny Pickett, Fry and Muth. You have Najee Harris lead back. You have Jalen Warren number two. And Samaji Piran could be special teamer and the third down back. If you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Um, it's kind of fun to, to, to think about this exercise. Like if he could sign a two-year deal, you would get like, you get him at the third third running back. You'd have uh, Warren, who's been playing fantastic football going into his second year. You'd have a veteran running back for the group. You'd have the, um, someone to, to help out and coach and, and learn with, you know, Najee Harris going into his third year. So we have a third year, second year, and a seventh, seventh year guy. I know it's longer than two for running backs, but you wouldn't need to play him all the time. You wouldn't need to, to get him high amounts of carries. He'd just be a guy there to be back up. Uh, kind of like that uh, Gilangelo Williams role we had a few few years back. Uh, kind of like that, you know. He wasn't there needed all the time. But if you do need him to, get him to get a first down or in certain roles, I could see it working. I really could see the Steelers targeting uh, a guy like somebody P. Ryan. Because I watched that, the game the other day, and I just watched some highlights of him then. He's a strong, physical runner, downhill He's a Pittsburgh Steeler at heart. You can already see it. He's a strong runner. He runs over people. He's physical. He goes north and south. And I think if the way the Matt Canada offense does progress, if they were to sign a guy like this that would come into the organization, he'd be so fun to watch. And I think the Pittsburgh Steelers would rally behind uh, Piran straight away. Like straight away. Like we would have Najee, Warren, and another big back in the backfield to be like, okay, what are you going to do now? What's going to happen now? Anyways, guys, that's my video for today. Hopefully you enjoy it. But uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you think the Steelers should target Samaji Piran? I think so. I think it'd be cool to see. Go and get him a two-year deal. I'd, I'd be happy to bring a, a former Bengal into the organization and to show him success, uh, go and hopefully go to the playoffs and, and you know go on a run. But then um, to beat his former team would be fantastic. Now, will that happen? I don't know. There could be other teams out there. I've heard other teams like the Vikings, uh, the Lions uh, also had rumors that they want to bring in a guy like Piran to, you know, stabilize the backfield, that, that second running back, that third running back. And I think the Steelers can do that. Do they have to do that? No, they don't have to. they got other options in, in practice squad, other options maybe in the draft too. But just a possibility it might happen. I'd be, you know, uh, pretty happy to see it. And now I'm on record that I want to uh, see Samaji Piran come into the Steelers. I think it'd be fantastic. That picture, by the way, is him running over Minka Fitzpatrick. So he's quite the physical guy, man. And anyone with a beard like that, you don't mess with. <laughs> a guy with a beard like that, you don't mess with. He's going to run over your face. So, all right, guys, I'll see you later. As always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go.